Today, we are going to try to unlock our T5 infantry on our restart project. We are focusing on specializing this account in infantry. We've got battles in KVK Season 3 coming very soon. Yeah, it's time to tech up, baby. Let's go. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. And today, we're on our 52 million power restart account. And we haven't spent a lot of the speed ups that we've been accumulating here. It is very much time for us to use some of these universals and maybe all of these universals and just tech up a bunch. Now, normally, you might do this with an event you're really focused on. We've got an event that happens to be here for speed ups. So, sure. We'll play the Now or Never event. Maybe we'll do well. Maybe we won't. You should try to time this better. I'm playing multiple accounts. I can't coordinate all that, man. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides it up, you get value. Smash your enemies. Hey, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos and throw in a like on the event. So we're just going to go for it. We need the tech. We have been waiting a while, arguably longer than we should have. This has already been helped the max number of times. We'll first cruise our way through all of our research speedups, and now it's time to use the universals. We'll start with the highest increments of those universal speedups, and bada boom, we jam out some of this infantry tech. Now, as we queue this up, we'll review the tech that we have remaining. I don't know if we'll get there, but we'll start, by the way, with Woot's Steel. Now, you may be wondering, whoa, Chiskul, you're like doing this without a scientist title. Are you crazy? And the answer is yes, a little bit. Like I said, time is the challenge for us. If you're doing this, you want to make sure that you time big research with a kingdom research buff, which is happening right now. You want to time it with there being optimally a 15% rune. And also you would, in a perfect world, really like the 5% bonus that the scientist title is giving you. So we're just going to go in, though, and do it without scientists. We've only got an hour or so of this buff left to get the job done. And we'll cut out some of the time in between as we go here. But first, we do need to talk about all the research that's needed. So in order to unlock your T5 troops, and many of you know this already, but for those of you who are newer to the game, you do need to max all of your economic technology. Yes, literally everything here needs to be maxed out. A little bit of a pain in the butt. These things generally take less speed-ups to get done, but more resources. As you get into the military tree, these things generally take way more speed-ups, way more time, and much less resources relative to that economic technology. So we look in here, we're at 20 out of 30 helps. We'll go in and say, smash those helps, please. Pushing T5 now. Okay, there we go. So you would want to have all of these buffs aligned, and even the 5% extra reduction of your research time is going to be meaningful. It will reduce the amount of time it's going to take you by some number of days for each of these really big researches. And yeah, I mean, you saw this research after help is still, what, 38 days, and I've still got a few more helps on their way in. There is also one holy site that is super relevant to this. I assume we have it. There it is, the Wisdom Altar. Another. 5% research speed, really solid, and that does come from your home kingdom. Now, as far as the military technology goes for unlocking your T5, you are going to need to, of course, first unlock your T4s. You're then going to need to complete both the first and second of the military tech that's specific to each unit type. So for infantry in this top row, it's Woots, Steel, and Scudum. Scoot them, scut them. And then we need to have maxed medical core, combined arms, and encampment. That's right. Those all have to be 10 out of 10. Only at that point can we do royal guard. If I wanted to do the archers, for instance, I'd have to have the two archer ones done. I'm pointing at those now with my cursor. Those would need to be done, and then I could do T5 archers. Same is going to be true for calves and so on. So we're going to start with the infantry. Maybe we'll unlock our calves as well, although I don't know how much I need them. I guess for rallies, we'll need Attila, Takeda, calves. It's going to be a thing. 
Archers, I don't know, maybe that's the least important of them all since I'm focusing this account on infantry. Okay, 30 helps are in. Time to use all those speed ups. <laughs> uh, nice knowing you speed ups. It's been a while since I have gone through so much original tech. We've got the heroic anthem tech we've been working on. Boom. Okay. Will we have enough speed ups? I don't know. Up next, more tech right over here. Let's see. Am I the one that got scientist? Nope. Okay. We'll keep going for now. 70 days, 11 hours to go from nine to 10. That is without the scientist. Here we go. We smash help. Now, while we're waiting for these helps to come through, we have one thing we can do here that I forgot all about, which is that we've got just a little bit of time left for Past Glory Stage 3. So let's go get some freaking rewards here for Past Glory Stage 3. We're in Season 3 of KVK, literally right now as we're doing this. And we need to go get all the free value we can get over here, exchanging in these sculptures that we no longer need. And like, yeah, we've got a lot of sculptures we don't need, and we've got a lot of goodies we'd like to go and pick up as the rewards for doing so. For those of you, by the way, who've not been through KVK before, you will, at the very beginning of Kingdom vs. Kingdom, when you're battling against all these other kingdoms, start by rebuilding your Crusader Fortress. And as you do that, in the third stage, you'll have the opportunity to turn in sculptures you don't need for things you do need, like, say, legendary commander sculptures? Heck yeah. Or gold stars? Heck yeah. Or speed ups and gold keys? Heck yeah. Yeah, we've got to do a bunch more of these. Boom. We have drained a lot of things that are in here, but there's a lot more that we need. I mean, I would take all these experience tomes for sure. The resources. Yeah. So let's see just how far we can get here. If we turn in all of our epic sculptures for commanders we don't need, we should be a little bit careful that we don't turn in uh, sculptures of things we actually do need. There's our Belisarius sculptures. Don't think we need our Lohar sculptures. That should be all done. Okay. Now our Sun Tzu sculptures go bye-bye. Turn those in. Oh, yeah. This should be quite nice. And if we just look here, how are we doing on those helps? How are we doing on those helps? 19 out of 30? All right, we'll keep... We'll keep jamming on this while we wait. The War of Conquest. If we look at the rewards that we can get now, where are we at? Do I need epic stars and sculptures? No. It's all about these resources and also, at this point, the experience tomes. So let's try and claim all of the experience tomes so we have those on hand. And it looks like we do need to turn in more sculptures. So we'll turn in all of our Pelagius. Done deal. We'll turn in all of our Boudicca. Easy enough. And I'm just making making really certain we don't accidentally turn in some Kira sculptures. That would be fairly tragic. There's the Ulji Mundok. Here's the Joan of Arc. See you later, Sepio. I appreciate you. Thanks for your help with everything in the live streams. There's Kusunoki. Boom. Here's Herman. See you later. And then up next, see, this is the Kira sculptures that we need to be really careful not to get rid of. Here's Matilda. See you later, Matilda. Done. Okay. And then the legendaries I'm not going to give. So this is the total number of sculptures we've got to work with. So that'll let us get a little bit more experience and a little bit of resources. Good enough. Got a lot of stuff that I really value there. As we look in and we smash help, we'll be back when we've got the helps we need. P.S. It does look like our timing for this is really great and aligns perfectly with the Seizing the Moment event. This is stage two of Light versus Darkness, where you get rewards for using speed ups. Wow, that actually is going to work out really well. We are going to use a ton of speed ups, and I wonder if we will actually be able to push rank in this event, just because the timing of that is really quite remarkable. Well, let's find out. All right, scientist title is in. Let's speed up. The research we've got here, boom, boom, five minutes, two minutes, and we go in. Next big research that we do will be combined arms 10, 103 days, seven hours before helps. There we go. We smash help and we're off to the races. What good timing with scientists. 
Let's go tell them in the scientist room that we're done with it and we'll be right back when we've got the helps. In light and darkness, we're up to rank 192. And let's see how we're doing in our own kingdom. Ooh, yeah. Now or never event. Collect all those rewards. We're up to 19. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to go pretty far in this event, I suspect. Maybe we'll even get a few sculptures. Really not my objective right now. I'm just trying to unlock T5. I'm doing some barbin on the side. And, you know, I guess I could take a moment to talk about how titles work in this particular kingdom, uh, which is 1723. So in this kingdom, there are multiple title rooms. And the reason there are multiple title rooms is because there's just not enough uh, space to have everybody in the one room. That keeps kingdom chat free of chatter and allows folks to request titles. The title givers manage a queue across several rooms. I actually was learning about that system as we were filming this video. So thank you to the title givers for explaining exactly how that works to us. Okay, we're 30 out of 30 on the helps, and that has reduced the amount of time to speed this up to 76 days, 10 hours. Wow. Well, let's jam through it. First, our research speed ups. Then rip universal speed ups. Here we go. Cranking through them. Now we're on the one hour speed ups. Wow, it is a lot of speed ups to get the job done. The one minute speed ups are in. And combined arms level 10 has been obtained. Now, normally, as I said, you should wait for scientists. Man, we don't have time for that. 30 minutes left on the scientist kingdom buff. So here we are, 105 days and 16 hours. So you can see it's like, Three solid days worth of speed ups of waste here to do this without the title. This is a big research, but we don't have the time to wait in the queue. So let's just jam this out, baby. Done deal. <laughs> let's wait for those helps to come through. And then we should be able to unlock our Royal Guard. Let's freaking go, baby. While we're at it, I suppose we may as well rip open our pick ones and turn them into research speed ups. May as well. We're using universals anyways, so... What the heck? So we'll rip those open, research speed ups and confirm it. Rip these open, use research speed ups, 174 hours, done deal. Then some 15 minute speed ups, why not? Boom, research speed ups it is. You know, we got universals. The I guess the pick one chests are just the same as universals, but whatever. It's all the same, just using up those speed ups. Boom, we're the scientist again, the helps are in. Okay. Let's cruise through all our research speed ups. Boom, boom. We'll go now through these universals, flying through them. Boom, knock that out. And it's time. Ooh, recruit more for war. Bundle has popped. Let's talk about this in just a second. It's time to go in and smash this research. T5. Here we go. 48 days, 10 hours. Bam. There it is. Helps. On their way in, let's tell the title team we're done. Done, T-Y-V-M. Yes. And 12 hours on the Recruit More for War pop here. Here it is. Recruit More for War. This bundle, by the way, we have reviewed in the past. It's a very solid bundle. It's just amazing raw speed-up value for $100. $100. I'm not going to buy this on my restart project. It's not a thing that I'm buying, but heck, I'll put up on the top a comparison of all the speed ups and all the different bundles. This bundle doesn't really get you access to anything special like some holiday events do. It's just raw speed up value. That's what this bundle brings. It's also got some resources and an emphasis here on the gold. Also, there is VIP in this bundle. Let's freaking go. Okay. Helps are on their way in. We'll next speed up the T5 to complete it and queue up one more research. And I think I want to save a lot of my universals here to use on actually upgrading from T4 troops to T5 troops. I don't know in this scientist cycle if we're going to push multiple T5 troop types. In fact, I've only got 20 minutes left on the kingdom buff. Yeah, not happening. So let's finish this. And I think the next T5 troop we are going to go for is at least to line up our research for T5 Cavalry. Cavalry is what we'll go for next. Plate Armor is going to be the thing that we will upgrade next. And then, boom, we should be able to do Royal Knights. Okay. <laughs> We're now number one in the speed-up event, of course. 
We are going to do more speeding up, by the way, so that'll help elevate our ranking there. And we're not even done speeding up, by the way. We still got to speed up our T5. If we look in at the War of Conquest, 34th. Not bad. I mean, we've got troops to speed up as well. A ton of troop speed ups we need to use. Obviously, the rewards for 34th are probably not all that exciting, right? Like 34. What do we get? Yeah, I mean, you know, two epic chests. It's not nothing. A little bit of coins to get some honor. Okay. That assumes we will be the winning camp. And as of right now, that looks like it could be the case. But you know what? This could really kind of go either way. And, you know, within 24 hours of the time that I'm filming this, I don't know. Gosh, I don't know when I'll be able to edit this video. I have so many videos to edit and, and to get published. By the time we've edited this and gone live, we may have already battled at the Altar of Darkness, or Ancient Ruins, rather, in this version of KVK. But let me get back to you when those helps are in. All right, the helps are in, baby. 35 days remaining. Here we go. Speeding up our T5 infantry unlock. Boom, smash those hours. We'll have some speed ups remaining to upgrade some troops. And there it is. The T5 infantry unlock on our restart project. Bam. There we go. Achievement unlocked right over there. This account, 465 days old. Yes, I spend on this account. But I also don't do a majority of the events that give the huge free-to-play value on this account as well. So I would guess it's approximately the same-ish time frame if you were doing this free-to-play. Over a year is what it took me. That sounds about right. On my main account, I did it in about nine months, and I was spending much less then than I do now. But I'm feeling pretty good about getting to this T5 unlock. And we've got the scientist. Amazing timing. Go on in. Smash our cav research. Plate armor. Get it done. 34 days. Smash help. Tell the title team. Done. Yes. Boom. With minutes left on the kingdom buff. Let's go, baby. Look at that. I, I did my research before the title even finished flashing across my screen. I just saw the buff was up on top there. Now the buff is gone, by the way before my scientist title banner has even disappeared. I'm going to try to be a good communicator about that side of stuff. So there we are. 30 days remaining on this. The helps are going to come in. That's all totally fine. If we look in over here at how we're doing, the Now or Never event, we are currently in first. That will probably change, but we've got research in the tank if needed that we could go and speed up to accelerate that. Yes, that would mean that we would have to queue at an inopportune time. But is that worth it to secure the extra 10 legendary commander sculptures over second place? I would say yes. In addition, our final position now, if we look in at how we're doing in the light versus darkness events, is 27th for our camp. Not bad. Making a big contribution here. And I'm looking forward to smashing with these T5 in the field on this account where we plan to be using Alexander the Great expertise with Esong or Sun Tzu and then We'll use Esong with El Cid. Boom, using the gear that you see here. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Throw a like on here. It supports the channel. It's 100% free to you. And subscribe for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We have more videos of us unlocking T5 troops. I'll put a card up in the top for a couple of those so you can go and enjoy unlocking T5 troops on our main account, which, you know... We did that a long time ago. It's been a while since we're hitting this milestone again, but man, it still feels good. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.